Hey, Beastav Nation, what is going on? It's been a bit, huh? Uh, it's going to be my first video for the 2022 season. I'm going to do a little spring striper fishing in one of my uh, local South Jersey rivers. And uh, stay tuned. Great to be back out on the water. And uh, great to put something out here for you guys to watch. So, all right, let's go. This is going to be a good one. Stay tuned. Okay. Well, we're out here on the water, on the river, and my man just, Big Mike just got the first striper of the season. Nice, bud. Nice job. Nice job. Nice job. Oh, that water just dropped off, too. Oh, yeah. Captain Bob. Mike got the suicidal striper. <laughs> Good job, bud. So basically what we're doing is we're out here snap jigging. Going to the bottom, touch bottom, come up, crank, lift up, let it fall. Okay, you'll see again, basically we're just snap jigging. Lower your jig, drop it down to the bottom, touch, and then raise it up two, three, four feet and follow your line back down. We've seen plenty of videos uh, of guys doing, you know, snap jigging technique. It's an old technique, but it's a tried and true technique, especially on these spring stripers up here in the river. One of the reasons it's so important to follow your line back down is sometimes and oftentimes these stripers will hit on the fall. So watch your line. If your line goes slack, you got a striper on. I got good marks down there, guys. Coming over them humps. All we're doing just a slow snap jig. That's all. So if you start to come up a little bit, to only see how high my rod is, and just bring it, you know what I mean? Like reel down a little bit. So you kind of want your rod when you touch bottom. You want to be pointing down. This way you're able to get a good hook set. Coming up on some junk here. A little hump. You'll see I'm constantly looking back at the depth finder to see what we're coming over and if I'm marking fish. You want again? Michael's on. Guess what? We're switch we're switching colors. We're switching colors. That's number two for the big guy. Are you kidding me? Right up, I said we're coming up on some junk. Grab him by the lips. Holy mackerel. That's awesome. Good job, bud. Tom, what are you doing over there? It's embarrassing me. <laughs> I'm embarrassing myself. Michael with two. Sure, sure. This water is dirty, isn't it? Brown. So I'm using a little Kai Tech here, paddle tail. I'm not, not sold on it just yet. I might put a little bit of go go juice on this thing here. It's the one thing I haven't done. Kai Tech. You see the little knot I got on there, a little loopy knot. This way this thing can jig freely. So I kind of broke away from the norm here and uh, wanted to try these new Kitex. New to me anyway. Um, I figured the water was going to be dirty. We've had some crazy weather up here. A lot of wind, a lot of rain. And the water, you could see the water is, it, it looks like chocolate soup. So I figured, let me try the Kitex with the paddle tail. That'll do uh, disturb a little more water, create some vibration. And also the ribs on that Kitek are great for holding Procure gel, you know, scented gel, bait gel. So I figured, let me give it a shot. Honestly, I had absolute zero luck with that Kitek on there. And I had to make a change in order to finally catch my first fish. Again, guys, I want to apologize. I'm shaking off the winter rust. I wound up, uh, I'm using a different mount for my camera. And I turned, hit my head on my T-top. And apparently I changed the angle. So my apologies. I still love the fact that you're here. You're watching this video. You're liking. You're subscribing. And uh, B-Stav Nation, we're, we're living strong here. We're getting ready for the 2022 season. All right, let's see how we make it. Striper. Good job, Tone. Looks like red's the ticket, guys. I'm going to hold this here for a second, okay? Anchor up. Good job, Tone. Keep that line tight. 
and just yeah just keep them playing them in there all right let me grab that for you good job buddy good job 13 foot of water all right bring them to me yes sir what's up stripers and diapers man tone you clobbered them great job pal there's my nephew and his first striper i'm holding in a picture no no <laughs> i said no he's like and no all right there we go number three go get him go get big little pig nice good job fellas nice i got a napkin and a little towel laying around here where's my towels up here no thanks all right go back down go get them let me uh take her off a spotty lock so you talk about a proud uncle moment. This is the guy that made me an uncle. He's my godson, uh, my nephew, Antonio. This is his first striper, and he pays attention when I tell him what to do and how to fish. And he basically said that striper hit on the drop. So again, you have to watch your line. You got to pay attention, and you got to be ready to set that hook. I'll tell you, I ain't doing it. <laughs> I might have picked the wrong. Oh, how about that, though? We just switched you up to that red fleck, right? I hate to give up on this Kai Tech, but if it's not the right color, it's not the right color. Oh, look at that screen, Mike. <laughs> oh, God, look at that screen. So we got the pink jig head has worked. The yellow jig head has worked. We got the same, oh God, look at those marks. Same lure color. And then there's me. Man, I think that's good fish. All right. I felt that thing smack it. This is my John Skinner freebie, salt strong, slam shady. Thank you, Mr. Skinner. Thank you guys from Salt Strong. I just changed up. That's a better fish, too, isn't it? Yeah, buddy. I felt them tap. I felt them down there tapping at it. That's awesome. All right, Pally. All right, all right. There, Bill Dance. Nice, nice. That's four for us. The day is worth it. The day was made. So I can get you up in here. Hang on, hang on. You're gonna try to make you a, make you a star. All right, all right. That's a nice size striper there. Good looking fish, huh? Nice. All right. Thank you. Like a torpedo. See ya. Dude, they were he was tapping at it. Mm -hmm. Should I have you take a picture? Oh, I'm so stupid sometimes. All right. There we go. I just ordered these. Watch John Skinner's video. One of his latest videos where he had these. The link. All you paid, I think, was a couple couple cents for shipping salt strong so the salt strong slam shady paddle tail got it done the kai tech did not do it good job let me know if you need the net all right hang on we're gonna, we're gonna film you buddy All right, take your time there, buddy. That's a good fish, huh? Oh my gosh, that's a good fish. All right, give me some slack. Open the bail. Nice, Michael. Nice job, buddy. Good job, buddy. Yep. Just watch your mouth. Yeah. He's hooked up. He's hooked up on the roof of his mouth, yeah. I believe, right? Good job, dude. Great job. Outstanding. That's a nice fish, bub. That's Tony's phone. I'll get your phone. Good job, Michael. That's a nice fish, bud. You shouldn't have left. Yeah. I, I'm going to text him. <laughs> Good job, dude. 
That's a heavy fish, is right. Uh, awesome. That's not a keeper, right? Uh, I don't believe so. I, you can measure it next next to you. Good job. Good job. Nice going, dude. The day started out absolute no wind, no breeze flat calm like glass and you can hear uh the wind start to pick up and it was coming off the ocean and what went from a fairly pleasant day turned out to be a pretty chilly day and pretty windy so i apologize for the wind noise but hey that's fishing oh it's a good fish yeah nah i'm okay Man, nice. Nice. Just sent him a text. Wish you were here. <laughs> all right. All righty, all righty. All right, little guy. All right. Man, this thing, this thing got bit when it was younger. Look at that. Look at the damage on the side. Something grabbed it. Both sides? Nope, just the one. All right. Mike, what do you have? Three? All right, two, five, six for Antonio. Good job. Michael's on? Yeah, buddy. Keep fishing, Tone. Hold on. Oh, watch your eye. Oh, God. Nice fish. Grab the uh, lure first. There you go. Okay, don't watch you, you break your rod doing that. Crazy. Nice job, Mike. Yes, sir. Got the Bass Pro going on. I mean, caught that coming back up this hill here. At seven. Mikey's got the hot hand today, buddy. There's another one coming over. That other boat there. They're here. They're chewing. Good job, bud. Good job, Tony. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Hold on, buddy. Just keep it just like that. Keep it, keep it line your line tight, okay? That's a good fish, Mike. Yeah. Hang on, buddy. Oh, we're getting a picture of that one, Tony. All right. Let him do his thing. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. Mike, look at this fish. Look what my nephew just caught. Nice. Look what my nephew just caught. Holy mackerel. That's your biggest fish you've ever caught, right? Yeah. Wow, dude. That's awesome, Tone. All right, give me some slack line. Let's open the bail, open the bail. Good job. Take a little bit out. Okay, good. All right, let me, let's, let me get him out of here. Holy cow. So that's the biggest striper I think's ever been on my boat. Right, Mike? That's a big striper, dude. All right, I think we're gonna have one more drift. <laughs> all right, all right there, pal. All right, all right. Let me get you, let me get you. Holy cow, Tone. Oh. Look at that striper. You want Mike? Oh man, we just got into him. And guess what? Alright, hold on. Let me get Mike's fight here. Tony, get the net and you might be hooking, you might be uh uh, Mike, you could you so not only has my nephew caught his first striper, he just backed it up with his biggest striper and the biggest striper to hit the deck of the off course. Uh, I am pretty particular about how you hold your stripers and especially the bigger ones, you definitely want to cradle them under their stomach. Good job. All right, let's get the release. Go on. Oh, I was on with you. Uh, we're together. Okay. 
Let me see if I can get, let me get unhooked from you. All right, well, you just worry about fighting your fish. Don't worry about me. Mike, could you grab the, grab the net for me? <laughs> oh, we're, we're, this is a mess. Bring it straight up, tone and, uh, uh, oh, no, no. Oh, my God. What are you doing? What are you doing? This is a joke. I, I can't help him because I'm, I'm wrapped. Good. All right, good job. Bring that fish up and in. Good job. That was a, this is like Keystone Cops right here. Look at this nonsense. Let me get off of your line here. I was trying to, oh, man, you guys are going to get me killed. I was trying to jig off your line here, bud. Wow, what the hell did we do here? Good job. Another one for Tone Bones. Good job. Guys are killing me. I'm getting killed here. Nice job. Dude, that, <laughs> that was like the Keystone Cops again. <laughs> You know what that smells like? One more drift. <laughs> you guys are killing. I'm getting killed. I'm getting absolutely crushed by you guys. Let's go one more drift. Oh no, I'm sorry. Yeah, let's. I'll go back and do the drift. And my nephew's putting on a clinic again. Look at that little rat. Look at that rat. All right, let me spot lock for a second. All right, Tone. Just keep that rod. You know, keep a little. Uh, you're, I'm not telling you nothing, you're doing fine. <laughs> you don't need anybody telling you what to do. You know what, let me bring this all the way out in case there's one zipping by up top. Okay, bud, good job. All right, just keep him in the water. Here, yeah, keep him down in the water, that's okay. I'll grab him out this way. Another South Jersey striper. Your lure is jacked up, dude. I'll have to put that back on there. My nephew. Good job. All right, little buddy. Go on. Let me see your lure. Holy mackerel. You know it's a good day when this thing is beat. Oh my God, look at this thing. Woo! I'm pretty sure most of you guys have been watching me, you know, from last year. And you can tell when I get excited and, uh, this is one of those times. I'm so proud of my nephew. He's never striper fished before. He just basically listened. I sent him a couple videos to watch of you know who. And uh, he just fell right into the pocket, right into the slot with his snap jigging. And by the look of his lure, you can see how chewed up it was. He caught on real quick. I wish I could say this was my striper, but it wasn't. Um, I'm actually happier and more proud to say that it was my nephew's striper and uh, biggest fish he's ever caught, biggest striper to hit the deck of the off course. I'm so proud. As always, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for subscribing. Let's make 2022 the best year yet. Hit like, hit subscribe, go fishing.